about this video from a Barton Badger. It's about the Silhex. Looks, get it, thing. The Lux uh, Silhex Pick V4. Hi. I've separated them, got them in my pack. That's the inner, that's the outer. You need two warm poles, Mark. You need one of these extenders. 12 quid. That's what makes your uh, pole for inside. Right, I'll get it set up and then uh, show you what's like. Mark, there it is, that's it up. The outer up. Give you a bit of advice. Get some line because you don't you don't get line on here on these ones when you get it. So you need to put some extra line in there. Put the ones on the panels. And all you do is just tighten it up. That's it. Just let's get it inside and I'll show you about the pole. That's what the extender does, mate. Goes in the middle there. It is solid. It looks. There's a cup up there. Goes in the cup. There's a little ring up there for you in it. There it is. Little ring up there for you in it. And your inner goes in there. So I bring it back when I put the inner in, Mark. Right, Mark. That's the uh, inner up. Uh, I use separate pegs, don't have to. I get a bloody thing open. Um, well, I bit the back, but you just stick your mat down. Down there. There's plenty of room. Depends on size, though, if you're six foot over six foot two, it's a bit uh, tight. But if you're like 5'9 or something like that, you'd be alright. Um, but there's plenty of room. Just shut the door so right the door open. Just get a little buffer, normal tent thing. There. Just close it up, I'll show you how much room you get. There's bags of room. No, there's bags of room you can cook. And everything in there. And if you want, right, once your bag's in, just unclip this, right? And unclip. Oh. Right, and clip that, right? And then. Oh, and that's it. That's all I do. I've still got bags of room to sit in. So, that's how much room we get in. Now nah, I can sit up. Remember, make sure that's tight. And that's it. That's your sill hex. Brilliant. Bags in room, mate. It's got to get windy later, so. There you are. Hope that's uh, helpful for you. Barton Badger, this is the best thing about you in school, all you muck over like that, you cook your breakfast with your door shut, you've got that j zip so you can do that, look at this, I've got wax a rope, aye, so, good. bacon, plenty of room, just open your door like that so the air can get out, and bring it back. Hi, uh, Mark, uh, thought I'd do this bit in the house, putting the system together, the pool system. You can buy a pool for the tent, I think it's about 20 odd quid, I'll have to double check. I'll put it below for you, I'll put it below for you how much it is for the ex for the whole pool uh, thing, but you don't want a pool, 
uh, Trev Kurt Hunt or Zero asked us if I want to go get a poll on my phone. Nah. Right, simple fact, simple thing. Here's your extender. Bottom pull extender. Pull that fire, mate. And what you do is take the bottom bits out. Like that. Right and then you put that inside. You can put it wherever you want, tighten it. You've got your marks on. Just a camera. There, you see the marks. Got one either side. And then you slot that one in. And what I do is I tighten these really up and I get wrong for it off the lads. Because I keep asking them to tighten. tighten it a bit too much that's it and what I do right as you know in the camera view what I do is I use the top in the middle section of the pole to adjust the height so once this bit's uh, tightened got it in I don't touch anymore it's the top or the bottom bit what I use to get the height in the tent um, are like this because if it's less scared to carry in everything like that and simply just unfasten it I will give you a word of warning about the system of the water pour system when it's wet cold and um, really thick condensation and stuff like that the first gear, um, the stick, as you probably know. Um, I don't know if you clapped your poles on a night or anything like this, but when you got this up, it's a bastard to get them undone. The real bastard, I struggled. So, what I've done is I kept the kit together and I go on my hat there, wedge it, put a bit of heat on, uh, put them on the heater to get them off and that. But that's a good bit of kit. That. What I'll do now is I'll go online, find out how much the proper pole is, and I'll put it at the bottom for you, mate. Um, like I say, I love the tent. I absolutely love it. It's light. Um, people have given us loads of advice, you know, about it. Um, about you know, just take the fly sheet and the ground sheet. That's all you need. You need to take it in at 600 grams. Say about 150 for a ground sheet. So that's my advice, anyway. It's up to you. But there's a good tent. Thank you for watching, mate.